Well, hello everyone. Today I'm going to tell you about carnival games. Now, like, all of you are probably very familiar with West Coast Amusement. That yes. comes around to pretty much every town in Canada at least once or twice a year, depending on what's going on. Now, personally, I have a lot of experience with them before they were West Coast Amusement. West Coast Amusement actually bought another carnival on the West Coast that joined their fleets, and now they cover most of Canada. Overall, it, it's a great place, and I enjoyed, I actually worked for it for a couple summers. Well, more like 14 years. <laughs> my, my father uh, actually left for, joined the carnival when he was 12 years old. He was not very good terms with his mother, but you know, I, I can't really complain about it because the reason I'm here. Uh, <laughs> great one, black. Now, let me clarify how these carnival games are rigged. They're not really rigged like they nail the bottles to the boards and your ball bounces off, more like your perception's rigged. Everybody knows that one line right in front of the booths that they tell you to stand at and throw the ball. That's just a recommendation. That's as close as you're allowed to stand. Such, uh, such as the milk, the game where you knock down the tin of milk jugs, softball. One way to do that is just to chuck it. But you know, throwing something really fast, really close, does not work out. It bounces off or you don't hit where you want to go. Now, I called my dad a couple nights before this to confirm Everything, because he just hooked up in uh, he hooked up a new ride out in BC, the north of BC. I don't know where he's at right now, but anyways, um, he set up the games and he confirmed this with me. You had to stand back at least four feet away from the line if you even want a chance at winning a prize. Because what they purposely do is they set up objects for you to distract you. That line is just where they know you can throw from, but you won't hit anything. Another game with the same concept of perception is everybody's familiar with the tub? You throw the softball in, it's usually pink or blue. Well, once again, the line, you throw it at such a speed, the softball just bounces right out. You have to again stand back. One, another thing is the tubs and the softballs, kind of plastic and rubber they are, they're meant to bounce. <laughs> So if you chuck it in, it's going to bounce out. There's no way. Another, another game that a lot of people are familiar with is a balloon toss. Are dart balloon darts? There's not really a set name for it. Whoever you ask, would give you a different name. But you throw the darts at the balloons. Uh, this one's a little more tricky, because what they do is they don't inflate the balloons fully. They'll inflate them just enough so the right size. And you stand at the line, you toss it, most of the time, you bounce off. It's kind of just how they keep you from getting their 25 cent stuffies. Or, they don't sharpen those darts. I think we've had the same darts since I was about four in that game. They're not sharpened. They'll get rid of them when they start rusting, but they're, they're dull as pencils. You probably do more damage with a pencil. So, <laughs> you're, you're kind of just throwing your money away at these things, but you can win them. The basketball hoops, that one is probably my favorite, and a lot of people think, like, I'm great at basketball, I can make that shot. No, no, you can't. <laughs> the hoops are actually just big enough for the ball. They don't, they're not regulation size, they're not what you have on a playground. They're just hoop, like these tiny little rims that just fit the balls through them. And the balls are over overinflated. So if you hit the rim at all, it's bouncing off. You need to get nothing but net, or you don't get anything. That's why they put Xboxes up there, which I'm pretty sure they don't have Xboxes in them. <laughs> I, I, they have a couple Xboxes in the office in that trailer, just in case you win something. But I think they had they had an Xbox, original Xbox, in there for like seven years. No one won it. It, it was it was great. <laughs> yeah, so carnival games they're not technically rigged, but your perception of them are rigged. Uh, has anybody played the BB gun? We have the shoot out the star. That game, they had an age limit on it, you had to be 18 to play it, or have a parent with you. They fixed that since then. But the problem with that again is, you either have to have really good aim, or you won't have enough ammo for it. There's just no way you can do it. My dad's been working for the carnival for, almost, for about 30 years. He still can't get it all the time. 
30 years of playing that game, he can maybe get one out of like 20 tries. More, the games, legally they can't rig these. People actually check these, there's people that come by to make sure they're, it's a fair trade. So legally, they're not rigged. There's no nailing things down, there's no spraying things, something with concrete spray so the balloons are rock hard and just bounce off. It's all regulated. But what they do is they mess up your perception. They tell you where to stand, they tell you how to throw it. You, they just do this, throw you off on purpose. Even the things such, the simple things as the ducks. They go around a little pond, you throw that fishing wand in. That, that's all your perception. You think the big duck has the big number on the bottom. No, it's just usually the smaller ducks. You, you, or the, the, they have even the gambling, the, where you put the dollars in. It, there's room on the sides that more that gets shown. There's these little flaps that when they push, the dollars go outwards. So until like someone dumps like 200 bucks in there, you're not gonna get a dime. So it's all legal. It's all to Canada's, uh, Canada's limitations. Nothing's wrong with anything. It's just they deliberately throw you off. There's no way you're gonna win if you play by the rules. If someone tells you to stand at the line, stand four feet back. Because you're allowed to. They can't tell you're not. Only threat you have is someone walk in front of you and you nail them with a softball. <laughs> it doesn't happen a lot. But it does happen, and they usually get a free toy so they don't sue. So it works. Or you can rig it yourself. There's been a plenty of cases where you walk behind the game, you talk to the guys, I'll give you five bucks, if you make it so I, you, I look like I'm really impressive, and I win the toy for my girlfriend. You can bribe these guys. Free rides, free anything, as long as you pay for it up front. And then the game's yours. You're the best shot in the world. He will give you a little prize. He'll tell your girlfriend or your wife, this is the best, this has the best shot we've ever had. They'll do anything, just for a couple bucks. Now, you, what, I'll repeat myself. The games are not rigged. It's just your perception. There's nothing going on. It's just how you see things. There's not many carnival games that